All right, guys, orange slice time, finally. Getting ready to cut the 1976 GMC big block truck. This is the Impact Series truck. It's just such a rad truck, and uh, I think shorting it down is gonna make it uh, even radder, if that's possible. So follow along, my main man, PR Dub. We're gonna go ahead and pull the bed today, get the bed sides off, and uh, get them up to Kyle at Metal Ox and have them shorted. It's a little windy today, sorry about that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get a new bumper from Brothers up front, new fuel tanks because we're gonna go with a short bed tank, both sides from Brothers. US Mags, we're gonna do their 2022 uh, offset here. So 20s in the front, 22s in the back. I'm gonna go with their Indy series, it's kind of just like what you see here, but obviously 2022. Toyo tires and then Revelator. So AZ Pro makes a real nice, uh, bare manufactured Revelator kit. So we're gonna do Revelators on all four corners. We'll freshen up the motor a little bit. We're gonna clean that up, work our way into the cab. Take a look at this cab, this thing is cherry. Interior is really nice. Dash is barely cracked. We're gonna go Dakota Digital with their Retro Series, RTX gauges, steering wheel stand. We're gonna have uh, Dom freshen up the seat a little bit. I'm gonna do a vibro kit on the back. They've got a new uh, wall, kind of a rear wall cab panel, help with vibration and sound. Precision replacement parts wherever we need it. Marque makes their new square body molding. This truck needs it. One thing about this truck is it's in great shape, but it's also been used. So freshen it up, it's, it's a perfect candidate. It's, it's dinged up in some spots, but it's really nice in others. So it's one of those trucks where it's not a nine or a 10, it's not. I wish it was, but because it's not, it almost kind of makes the decision a little easier for shortening it up. For uh, exhaust, I think it'll probably just go with the Flowmaster, give it that 70s style. And then again, the Ride Tech stance, it's gonna be so nice with their, they have their HDX adjustable shocks. We're gonna go full Ride Tech. Um, I think that's really about it. It's gonna be a few little things. We're gonna try to get this done for September for C10 Intervention. That's September 13th, I believe, it's a Sunday. And then we're gonna work our way down to C10s in the park. So we've got our work cut out, gotta get it going. Payson and I are probably gonna shorten the frame and then uh, I'll get the bed sides up to Kyle. So digital C10, a little windy, kind of did this little rendering. This is kind of what we're looking at doing here. Get a look there. Now Wyatt over at AZ Media, AZ C10 Media, he just started this program and so he's gonna freshen up this rendering for us, put the right wheels on it. But that might be a little lower than we're gonna go uh, with the Ride Tech setup. But uh, we're looking to give it that, a little bit of that rake, that 70s style, orange slice, follow along. Should be a fun build. Um, you know, we'll have a few hiccups and, uh, and a few challenges as we go. The biggest thing, I know I got some slosh tubs. That's another thing we're gonna do on the inside of the engine compartment. Really just clean the big block up, make it smooth, make it run uh, nice, and make it uh, look really good. And then shorten up the truck. Orange slice coming at you. Thanks guys, check it out. Follow along on this YouTube. Hopefully we can kind of keep these things going, this series going. Thanks guys. We got it off. So you got about eight bed bolts and then uh, make sure you get the bumper off. This truck had two fuel tanks, uh, one aftermarket, one GM stock. So undo those, undo your wiring harness that goes to essentially your tail lights. And uh, with the help of a few friends, you can lift it off. We're moving the tire help for us so we didn't have to lift it up, lift it up quite as high. And then obviously this cart makes a big uh, difference for us. We got this from Big Ten Bowman. Well, I wanted to flip the truck uh, the bed around so that we could get access to all the bottom bolts. So what we did is we set it up on the front and then we kind of uh, rolled it over to get back onto this, onto this cart. We had the truck floor mat, so we used that, which helped out perfect. So now we're gonna tear down the bed and disassemble the bed. If you could see here, Payson will bring it in, but I talked to Kyle and there's two little welds right there you've got to get to. So we're going to go ahead and buzz those two welds off. And then we're going to start disassembling. And our goal is to get to the side. We'll leave the fender wells in on the bottom of the bed floor. And then just take the rest of the bedside uh, over to them. So we'll, uh, we'll update you at that point. So bed's off. We're going to get ready to break it down. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Next day, happy Memorial Day. Time stamp this a uh, little bit here. We're able to get the bed off, flip it over. That gives us uh, access to all the different uh, bolts. And so pull them all off. Inside, there is two small cuts that you gotta make, uh, little seams. And uh, we're gonna leave the inner fenders on the bed floor. So we left that alone. Come around here, 
pull all the stuff in the front and it's ready to go. So we should be able to pull the bed sides off. We've got Thomas and P-Dog here to help. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to separate the bed sides from the floor. So uh, that's next. Thanks. All right guys, uh, I'm recording so I'm behind the camera. Made it up to Metalox and uh, we're here. So orange slice in progress. It's pretty cool, I was talking to Kyle and we're looking at it. You kind of see some of the different um, the way that they laid that in there, you can kind of see the different layers. So it looks like the truck initially was yellow, then they sprayed the orange over the top because you can kind of see in some of the different areas where if the truck, the orange paint's coming off, it looks like it's got yellow underneath. Whether that's a transparent decal right there or if it's clear, but either way, it's pretty cool. So um, we got the magician, he's right there. Look at those muscles. I know the, sh the sun's behind him, so it's kind of hard to see, but we're getting ready. How long is this going to take? Mm, two weeks. Are you intimidated because of the stripes and you know if you mess it up, I'll kill you? Nah. No. Easy breezy. He can actually do anything. I don't care if he messes it up. That's how much I love this guy. So there you go. We're going to take the bedsides off and uh, get them inside. You can kind of see. Pan with me over here. Uh, we've got a few things going on over at the Metal Locks fabrication shop they got a SEMA build in there it's pretty rad and uh, we're gonna get ready so holy moly look at this guy not the first time feel those muscles one thing uh, Kyle was telling me one time was how on a oh on a square body you could see where they stamped it almost the same as like a short bed see right there so it's kind of cool he knows what he's doing all right guys we're gonna do an interview right now and that's it for the video late